Days. Well, it was the first week for American Idol contestants on the big stage. Former contestant and Virginia Beach native Felicia Barton is here with her thoughts on this week's performances and eliminations. But first, I have to go back to last week because you said you were going to share your thoughts with us on Lily Scott. I almost wore a feather in her honor today. <laughs> I'm very serious. I'm so sad she's gone. What do you think she, what was her mistake? I, um, you don't being know. good? I right. don't know. You know, it's really hard to say. She yeah. was so great. And again, America was shocked by the elimination. I mean, she really was a great performer. I thought she had it all together. Either she didn't get the votes or we just call it another one of those American Idol moments. Right. You think we'll hear from her again? Um, absolutely. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. I think enough people were upset about her elimination. Yeah. And we're all going to be wondering, you know, well, let's let's get an album out. I'll buy it. I'm really? first in line. Absolutely. Nice. Very yeah. good. Well, what did you think about the girls that remained this week? Who did the best in your eyes? Okay. I really loved Lacey Brown this week. Yeah. I thought her performance, she did Ruby Tuesday. It was Rolling Stones week, by the way. And it was it was really great. She stepped it up. She um, looks amazing, by the way. Oh, yeah. Her fashion sense is phenomenal. I don't think this will be the you know end of her by any stretch of the imagination. She's just a really great talent um, and very unique. Um, totally, but definitely stepped it up in my opinion. Yeah. Do you think she's too um, kind of one style of singing, and maybe that's what hurt her? Do you think you know, she can do it all? she's an artist, so you kind of have to stick to a genre. You know, if right. you can do a little bit of everything, it might get lost. And when it comes to making an album, you're like, ah, oh, what should I do? Right. Um, but you know, I I think she really, really, really enjoyed this performance, especially with the strings back there yes. and everything. It was just a really nice moment. Of course, they did give her some good constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. I thought about more relaxing, not making it such a theatrical kind of right. go here, go there. Right. Just kind of relax and really. Right. you know, do it. Don't necessarily do the Adam Lambert thing. Exactly. Who else did you like among the girls? Siobhan Magnus, who was compared to Adam Lambert this season. Yeah? Stupid. Yeah, and she was amazing. She actually had walked down the stairs, kind of had this dark vibe going uh -huh. on. Um, and again, one of my favorite technical singers. Mm -hmm. She, um, this honestly, vocally wasn't my favorite for her, mm -hmm. but she just hits these notes that kind of when we watched last season, when I was part of last season, right. we all sit back and just go, what in the world? You know, exactly. where does this note come from? Right. And uh, so, yeah, she did a phenomenal job this week. Well, you know, I know there's a lot of people that are saying, you know, Crystal Bauer sucks. She's the one to beat. But then I heard a lot of people are saying she's really coming up through the ranks. Yeah, you Could know, I her. really think it, Crystal's going to have to step it up in her um, relating to the audience. You okay. know, she's going to really have to kind of make herself a little more personable. Yeah. Um, but I think she got that this this week. I think she heard that from the judges, and hopefully she'll step it up. All right. Now we got to talk about the boys. Who did you yeah. love? Casey James. Who doesn't oh, love Casey James? I know. He's just so great. He, you know, he really can play guitar. And... I, I, again, similar to Crystal Bowersox, though, I'd like to see him connect with the audience a little bit more, um, not get so, I don't know, let's say cocky, a little right. bit arrogant in his performance, um, but just relax and show us what he can do, you know, minus the I, I, the feeling that he, you know, he's, he's good and he can handle it and he's going to sail for the competition. Right, right. Well, last night was an elimination. I know. So we've got to talk about who went home. Let's take a look. After the nationwide vote, the person in danger of leaving the competition is Lacey Brown. Your roommate, Paige Miles, is safe. Oh, you hate to hear that. That's so sad to hear. <laughs> Bring the tissue. Little sniff, little tear action. I was so upset. You have no idea. I believe it. Especially when I really felt like, honestly, her performance this week was one of her best. Yeah. Um, and Paige Miles should have gone home. And because I mean, she's really outshone Paige throughout the whole absolutely, competition. Absolutely. And it's interesting to me, again, American Idol, the judges' comments, they seem to sway America. I really think they do. And, yeah. and Simon's been, you know, pushing Paige Miles from the beginning. So. Now, you know they said you're potentially going home tonight. Tell That's us a little right. bit about the save. What is okay, that? this year, last year for my season was the first year they did um, the judges save and this mm -hmm. year they're doing it again okay. so at some point during the rest of the competition the judges have the opportunity to save one person they can only okay. use it once but then the next week two people will go home all right so, so we'll see and last night was not the night they decided to use it I know Lacey oh. we miss you we miss you Lacey <laughs> well hey where can uh, we find you um, well you can find me on Twitter Facebook MySpace and then Easter weekend I'll mm -hmm. be singing at a 5k that's happening on um, at Mount Trashmore you can find more information about it 
it at comegetfree.org. Um, and then on Easter Sunday, I'll be singing at the Sandler Center for the Performing Arts okay. um, at 9 a.m. and at 11 a.m. And you know, if they want to keep up with you as well, you're also blogging. I am doing live commentary, um, but blogging for Fox 43. Yeah, so yeah. you can find her blog on fox43tv.com. Right. Felicia, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming in. Thanks we will see you me. next week That's for some right. more eliminations. It's getting exciting.